Your thoughts, movements, emotions, even your heartbeat are controlled by tiny cells called neurons. These are the messengers of your nervous system and your body has billions of them. Today, we're going to break down what a neuron is, how they're built, and how they send messages using electricity and chemicals. Let's start by examining the parts of a neuron. Every neuron has a cell body or soma. This is the neuron's command center. It contains the nucleus, which holds DNA and keeps the cell running. Next are the dendrites. They look like branches on a tree. Dendrites receive signals from other neurons and carry them toward the cell body. You can think of them like satellite dishes, picking up messages. From the cell body, the message travels down a long fiber called the axon. The axon sends the signal away from the cell body to other neurons, muscles, or glands. Many axons are covered by a myelin sheath, a fatty layer that acts like insulation around a wire. It helps the signal move faster and more efficiently. At the end of the axon are the axon terminals, also known as terminal buttons. These release chemicals called neurotransmitters that carry the message across a tiny gap called a synapse to the next neuron's dendrites. But how exactly does a message travel down the axon? That's where resting potential and action potential come in. Resting potential is the state of a neuron when it is not sending a signal. Imagine it's like a battery that's fully charged but waiting to be used. The inside of the neuron is more negative than the outside, and this difference in electrical charge is what we call the resting potential. Now, when a signal needs to be sent, say you touch something hot or hear a sound, something amazing happens. Action potential is the electrical impulse that travels down the axon. When the neuron is activated by a signal, the electrical charge flips. Positive ions rush in, making the inside more positive. This creates a wave of electricity that shoots down the axon. It's like flipping a row of light switches one after the other. This action potential is how the neuron fires. After firing, the neuron quickly resets itself back to resting potential, ready for the next signal. Now let's review the path of a signal that goes through a neuron. Dendrites pick up the signal. The cell body processes it. An action potential sends the signal down the axon. The myelin sheath helps it move faster. The axon terminal releases neurotransmitters and the synapse passes the message to the next neuron. It's fast, it's precise, and it's happening millions of times every second in your brain and body. So next time you raise your hand in class, blink, laugh, or remember something from yesterday, you know it's all thanks to your hard working neurons firing one signal at a time.